Okay guys, so uh, welcome to Julia Z and uh, right now we're doing, uh, well yesterday we did uh, a test, uh, testing gene uh, without the uniform at tier 3 in, in timeline and ABX. So today I'm doing uh, a test of her in timeline with the new uniform and uh, later I will uh, also uh, add the part of the video where I did the ABX with the uniform uh, with her. So yeah. That's gonna be pretty freaking fun. Uh, this is not the team I use for timeline. This is the team I use for timeline this week, and uh, we'll see how well she performs. Well, basically she's uh, pretty uh, pretty good. She's a lot better with the uniform because she can tank more, and also her damage is a bit uh, better, I guess. Uh, but you will see, man. You will see, because uh, I know I've used her in timeline for like. <laughs> as long as I could, you know, every time Jean is available I always choose her, no matter what new uh, character gets the tier 3 and whatever uniform is released, Jean is always the best. Come on, thank you, finally I can use the 5th. You want to start with the 5th because it uh, allows you to uh, pretty much uh, be able to penetrate her Im uh, either immunity or guard that she may uh, put up. Uh, let's see what we can do to freaking Wolby. He's gonna be, of course, uh, wow, he, he freaking survived that. But let's just use the tier 3 scale here and we'll be freaking done with this freaking timeline battle. Uh, and one thing you will notice is that, oh well, I, I actually tapped the home button there, I'm sorry. Uh, but one thing that you will notice is that uh, with the new uniform, as I said on the last episode, Without the uniform, she's kind of slow in a, in timeline, but with the uniform, she's uh, really nice, and that's because uh, the because of the uh, damage bump and the fact that she will reduce the uh, mind resistance that the enemies have. Uh, I guess I'm uh, doing something wrong because uh, I I keep uh, entering and using her as soon as the battle starts, maybe. Uh, I will start to wait at least for 10 seconds for the uh, skills to be off uh, cooldown and that way we can test her in a fair way, you know. Uh, Victorious is kind of annoying, but yeah, no match for Jean. <laughs> no way, bro. No freaking way. What I love about her is that she can heal when she gets hit. So if you activate the third, uh, she will heal, but if she gets hit in that process, she will actually heal even more, uh, like even faster. She starts at 4% a second, uh, and then she goes uh, up by, I don't know, 6% uh, for each, uh, for like the more she, uh, more she gets uh, hit, but we'll check that out after I do timeline, because I always forget the numbers. But you just gotta trust me that it's amazing as hell. I hope that I kill this guy without using the third skill, because the third skill kinda helps me survive uh, Captain Marvel. Okay, so at least we have the tier 3 skill now, so I could uh, waste the third skill. So why? Uh, what I mean by uh, the third skill can uh, save me against Captain Marvel is that uh, when I use the third skill, uh, as soon as Captain Marvel uh, appears, I can at least trigger the heal for Jean, and uh, the fact that it is an iframe, it, uh, it will also uh, trigger uh, Captain Marvel's uh, fourth skill, and that way I will get hit and also heal and pretty much survive that skill, and uh, she'll uh, she won't have the skill ready when I am. Uh, well, when it's done and I'll be able to just destroy her but sometimes it doesn't work that well but that's my only strategy for that uh, but even when it doesn't work that, w uh, that well we still have the second life that she has so no worries about that let's just hope that we can keep the third skill ready yep let me just try entering with the third skill let me t show you here you go so she's healing and the more she gets hit, the more she heals, so basically Captain Marvel helps you heal even more with uh, Jean, so that is pretty freaking awesome. 
Now, I didn't want to use the tier 3 skill, but the fact that uh, she did her uh, ignore iframe skill uh, meant that I couldn't use any of my other skills, so uh, since it's on auto as well, uh, it sometimes will uh, make choices for you. So in that case, that was the only skill that the uh, AI could use, and that's why it used it. Even though I was just running, or trying to run. Uh, but yeah, it, it was done, man. And this is why you freaking love Jean. And for uh, people who actually want to see how well she performs in auto, uh, well, <laughs> good luck with that. Uh, maybe find another YouTube channel to uh, see that on because I personally do, don't use a timeline uh, in auto because uh, it's really, really weird, you know? I mean, I understand if you're a whale and probably you're, you've invested so much in your team, uh, but uh, it, even more so with Jean, there's no way you can leave her on uh, auto. She always had cool mechanics on her skills that uh, you kind of needed to play her manually, Let's go to Jean right now, since we have a Captain Marvel. I we won't have the uh, the third skill ready, but now we do, so we survived for that that long. And she even hit us, and still didn't kill us. So yeah, it's uh, it's official. She can survive freaking Captain Marvel every time. Uh, I I think Strife sometimes is annoying, or even uh, even Quicksilver sometimes if you uh, don't actually cancel his fort when when uh, you get the chance let's use the fear to skill to see what she can do yeah <laughs> against the th uh, uh, a gene I don't re uh, remember if she was tier 3 or not but nope no way nobody can freaking uh, survive that tier 3 skill like the first uh, bump uh, like the first second of the tier 3 skill has a, a pretty high amount of damage but then it gets lower but still it's a pretty long skill, so even if they, uh, if she doesn't make it and uh, it doesn't kill the enemy on the first uh, hits or the first uh, uh, amount of damage, uh, it's still enough to uh, just finish off the enemy later. So, pretty awesome, man. pretty freaking awesome. There you go, easy as hell. There goes Jean, she's dead. Let's see what we can do against Deadpool. You never want to let Deadpool uh, pull off that uh, fifth skill uh, because it can be freaking devastating. Uh, and that's because it has penetration. But it luckily is a skill that is easy to freaking cancel. You just need to use uh, one of your skills that has an iframe because his fifth only has an iframe at the beginning and then it's a normal skill you just cancel it by using an iframe skill and then you're safe you know uh, but <laughs> if you get caught up on that and uh, don't get to freaking cancel it good luck man <laughs> seriously whoever you are uh, there's no way that you could survive that there you go even a another Deadpool cannot survive that shit and it's actually pretty nice sometimes you get the chance uh, to use it uh, when the enemy Deadpool is actually doing his third, so <laughs> it's not an iframe, so you can just destroy him. But anyway, uh, I think uh, we only have a couple of battles left. Okay, so this is not a position where I would uh, like to be. So we didn't have the heal there, and we still freaking tanked it, so that's what is awesome about this uniform. Of course, she has higher defense. Uh, thanks to the uniform st stats, but uh, there's also the bonus that she gained with the uniform, uh, which actually just increased her uh, her freaking uh, defenses by a, long, a lot of freaking... Uh, uh, or what am I saying? Just uh, It just increased them uh, a lot. That's what I meant to say, but I'm, I'm kind of focusing on the battle, even though uh, I just died there. I know it doesn't make sense, right? But still. There you go. Let's just hope that we don't kill the enemies uh, before we even get the third skill ready again, because then Captain Marvel may uh, may actually fuck us uh, fuck us up. But I hope that we actually make it. You know. Yep. Now we can use the third skill. There you go. She will hit us, but we will heal. <laughs> there you go. There's no way, man. Let's use the tier two skill, and it's done. 
Man, I'm in love with this freaking tier three. There's there's nothing better. Like, she's just the opposite of uh, Thanos. Thanos heals uh, when you hit the enemy, but that kind of effect isn't as great when you don't have uh, an ignore iframe skill. So, if you uh, get pretty low on uh, on health, if he had an ignore iframe skill, he would just use that and uh, ignore everybody and just uh, be able to use the skill and would have some uh, or it, it would have some hits and there would be a, whole, a lo uh, high chance that he would heal there uh, but he doesn't have that so it doesn't really work and I'm, I'm almost gonna die from the enemy gene but I don't know how I made it like even when the uh, CDP of transcendence uh, uh, procs and uh, freaking gives me the invincibility, it still doesn't work. Wow, I used the tier 3 skill and I cancelled it. Very smart, very smart. I wanted to use a skill, another skill so I could save the tier 3 skill for uh, Captain Marvel, but whatever, it's not like we need it, as you saw. But yeah, it's been, uh, it has been really a long time since I last uh, was having a successful streak of uh, wins with her, so Finally, we can do that, and it's just amazing. Like I, I was almost able to do that with her at tier two, and now that she's at tier three, it's just, just freaking amazing as hell. Uh, let me just waste this energy here, and we can go and check uh, her freaking heal that I talked about earlier. So the third skill, there you have it. So she recovers. 6% uh, HP, so I always mess this up, I, I always think that she recovers 4% and then uh, it gets increased by 4% uh, by 6% but nope, it's actually that she recovers 6% HP for, one, uh, for every 1 second which is actually really good and then uh, for each uh, percent of uh, total damage received she recovers 4% of uh, heal more so basically, instead of 6%, she will uh, recover 10% the next second. And if she gets hit again, of course, she will recover 14%. And it just increases uh, like tremendously. So it's just an amazing skill. Anyway, I'll be cutting uh, the video here so we can, uh, so that I can uh, pretty much stitch the other part when I test her in ABX and then. Uh, I will make the freaking giveaway winner selection so yeah okay guys so I had to cut it so that we could test out the uh, gene uh, against uh, timeline uh, because I'm doing this pre-recorded and I will attach that uh, before this video so now we, we can try gene in ABX with the new uniform and we can see uh, <laughs> the freaking crazy damage that she will output uh, as you sh as you saw, the damage with the without the uniform was uh, freaking insane as well. So holy freaking hell, man! Uh, she should be able to deal a lot of freaking damage with the new uniform. Uh, uniform though, uh, I don't know how much to expect, but like I don't want to uh, jinx it, so I'm not even gonna think of uh, think of any number. But let's see what we can do right here. Now the rotation I will use is 5, then 4, cancel 3, and then just use the second and the first skills uh, whenever I can or want to, you know. But it's not this uh, crazy uh, perfect rotation, you pretty much have to go by feel. Uh, the damage of the tier 3 skill, yeah, is definitely a bit higher, but uh, yeah, it's kind of almost the same but the difference will be uh, on the damage of the normal skills, you know? Uh, not the tier 3 skills. The tier 3 skill may actually be the same amount of damage on both uh, cases, but uh, it's all about the freaking... Uh, maybe I should have used the fifth before this to uh, allow her to penetrate, but whatever. I really don't know if uh, it actually affects uh, uh, the guard, but whatever. Uh, the damage is still gonna be insane as hell uh, but I'm kind of feeling like the uh, damage may actually be uh, almost uh, identical uh, but you never know man you really never know I still didn't use the fifth before the tier 3 skill that's my mistake 
maybe her damage could be higher that way, but really no idea. <laughs> I'm just as uh, uh, clueless as you guys, so don't worry. There we go, let's just use the fifth before we use the tier 3 skill, maybe that will change things a bit. So almost 600k on the first half uh, of the uh, ABX uh, run, so I don't know, on a perfect day probably we should have gotten like a million and 200k, uh, or we should get about that, but uh, I don't know man, it doesn't work that way anymore because uh, the beast gets this uh, uh, defense increase or uh, damage decrease uh, dealt to him or something like that and also uh, the fact that he uh, has the guard on this day which really sucks but whatever I think uh, her skills with the new uniform actually have more hits so that may actually help her uh, get rid of the guard faster but I'm not really that sure. It feels like it's getting uh, uh, removed faster, but uh, I really don't know for sure. Uh, we still haven't broken the record, uh, but we should be uh, able to do it soon. Don't tell me I got hit by a meteor. Come on, that will really lower the score, goddammit. Freaking hell, man. I could have gotten a higher score though. I know that I'm uh, that I'm gonna break the record for sure, uh, but uh, I could have gotten a really high uh, freaking score. Let me try to get some hits in. But yeah, almost a million and two hundred. If I didn't get hit there, I could have gotten a lot closer uh, to that. But yeah, that's a pretty good score, man. To think that I could uh, get 1.5 million with Luna because I don't play her properly but if I did play her properly properly I would get about 2 million before the uh, update where they changed the frost beast but anyway guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this and of course this is a pre-recorded video so uh, it may be a giveaway or a giveaway a video uh, winner announcement that I will do next so I will leave you to that man and I'll see you uh, on another video bye bye Okay guys, so it's gonna be a giveaway, so all you need to do is be subscribed and you need to comment down below. If I didn't have to keep a uh, defensive ice, uh, or a defensive obelisk on her, like the CDP of Transcendence, and maybe soon if I get it, the CDP of Authority, uh, would you think that giving her Rage is a good idea instead of Luna? Because uh, if you actually compare them both, Luna can only get like 1.5 million and she has a 180 proc. Uh, if I can get it right here to show you guys. She has a 180 proc with critical rate and cold damage, which is pretty much a really good freaking uh, obelisk for her. Uh, except for the fact that it has a proc, uh, that because she doesn't really work well with procs. Um, but she does all that damage with that huge uh, awesome proc. Imagine what Jean could do if she had the same kind of uh, obelisk with uh, mind damage, 180% proc and critical rate. She would definitely surpass uh, 1, 1. 1.5 million but anyway, if I didn't have to uh, have the CDP of authority, in your opinion guys, just comment down below, who do you think I should have uh, I should give a CDP of rage too but yeah <laughs> comment that down below be sure to be subscribed and uh, wait for tomorrow's video where I will announce the winner and I'll be doing a giveaway after that day so yeah just just keep watching my videos you'll you'll have a lot of chances to win anyway I'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye